Okay, I want to talk about finding the domain of a fractional function involving radicals. So that would mean something like this, where we have a fraction, but we also have a square root. So this is one of the most complicated things that can happen with a domain. Remember that a domain is everything that x can equal. So there's two potential problems here, right? We can't divide by 0. So we can't divide by 0, but we also can't take the square root um, a negative number. Okay, so we can't take the square root of a negative number and we also can't divide by 0. So we need to make sure that we're not dividing by 0 and we also need to make sure that we're not um, taking the square root of a negative number. So let's actually ask the question first, how can we make sure that radical is okay? So we learned in the last video that we want to make sure that this stuff is greater than or equal to zero. So we have two minus x needs to be greater than or equal to zero in order to make it not the square root of a negative number. So we need two minus x to be greater than or equal to zero. But let's just stop ourselves right now and say, okay, but if this does equal zero, we're in trouble too, because the square root of zero is zero, and then we're dividing by a negative number. So really, we can't have it be equal to zero, we just want it to be greater than zero. So we just have to take away that equal sign, because if it does equal to, if it equals zero, we're gonna have trouble with can't divide by zero. If it's less than zero, we're gonna have trouble with can't divide by, a or can't take the square root of a negative number. So. We need both of those things to be true, so we can say 2 minus x needs to be greater than 0. So let's go ahead and solve this. Um, you can do it in more than one way, but um, I'll go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. So we get negative x needs to be greater than negative 2. Okay, now we got to get rid of those negative numbers. So in order to do that, we need to divide everything by negative 1. And now you need to remember that if you divide by a negative number, you have to change the direction of your inequality. So instead of greater than, we need to make this less than. So now x needs to be less than 2. So in this case, how we would write x is less than 2 as a domain in interval notation, we would write that it goes from negative infinity all the way up to 2, and then we'll use parentheses here indicating that 2 is not okay. So remember that 2 would be okay if it was just a square root, because we'd have 2 minus 2, that's 0. Square root of 0 is 0. But that gives us trouble with our fraction, because we also can't divide by 0. So in this case, the domain is just from negative infinity up to 2. And that's it.